Well, 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 this was not a headline I was expecting to see tonight. I thought I was just reading some kind of early April Fool's joke, but no, The Sims movie is in the works with Margot Robbie's Lucky Chap, Vertigo, and Loki director Kate Heron and Roy Lee is among the producers of this movie as well. There's not too many other details at the moment. I'm assuming this will be live action rather than animated. I know there was a Sims movie that was meant to happen many years ago, but it never took off for some reason. But I guess now that video game movies are becoming more and more of a thing, I think in the long run they're going to replace superhero movies as a hot thing, especially with superhero movies, as much as I like them myself, they've fallen off in the past couple of years, with exceptions like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and the Loki TV show, which, hey, we'll actually mention again in a minute. But I suppose with this new wave of video game adaptations that are actually good and not all dumpster fires like they used to be, is what has inspired the Sims movie concept to resurface again. Continuing on with this Hollywood Reporter article, Kate Heron, who is best known for directing season one of Loki, is attached and will also co-write the screenplay with Brienne Redman. Lucky Chat, the production company run by Margot Robbie, Tom Ackerley, Josie McNamara, and Sophia Kerr, still basking in the glow of producing Barbie, will produce the feature along with Roy Lee and Mary Yoon of Vertigo Entertainment. Electronic Arts, which published the game, will also be involved in a creative and producing capacity. No surprise there. Lee does have a new movie coming out this weekend, Late Night with the Devil. He's worked on the Lego movie, so that's interesting. I've only seen the first one, which I remember was really good. Though I haven't seen the other one, so I'm not sure how those are. But apparently, with like Heron working on Loki, that show became Marvel's most watched show on Disney Plus. I'm really surprised to hear that. I thought that was still WandaVision. That's still the one that's by far the most talked about Marvel Disney Plus show. But hey, Loki deserves it because season two was so good. That ending was just wow. Loki definitely has one of the best character arcs in the whole MCU right now. And if we didn't have season one, which I think was also pretty good, then season two wouldn't have been as solid as it was. Definitely got some mixed emotions going into this, because on one hand, what the heck could you do with The Sims for a full-length movie? I think it would have been a lot more doable for them to do some Pixar-style animated shorts, but that wouldn't create nearly as much buzz as a whole movie. And considering that the 25th anniversary of The Sims franchise is next year, yeah, this movie probably is coming out next year too. The timing of this announcement, of course, isn't the greatest either with the state of The Sims 4. And I also find it so strange that we're hearing this news from these film news outlets rather than straight from the horse's mouth. Like, they tweeted a bit about Crystal Creations today on The Sims, but that's it. They said nothing about this. Maybe uh, maybe in the morning they'll say something now that the news is out. But yeah, that just seems so strange, especially since they said in the article that EA does have a hand in this movie. It's not like they just completely sold the rights to Margot Robbie's company and just went with that. On the other hand, I've already gone through similar motions that I'm going through right now with the Sonic the Hedgehog live action movie. Even if you have never played a Sonic game in your life, you probably heard about all the controversy with Ugly Sonic in that initial trailer, and there was so much backlash. They got someone, Tyson Hess, who had involvement with Sonic in the past, to redesign Sonic and it was way better received and the movie ended up turning out just really well and now it has a sequel that did even better and there's going to be movie three this year which I'm personally looking forward to because it looks like it's going to take a lot of inspiration from one of my favorite Sonic games ever, Sonic Adventure 2. But um, yeah, when the movie was announced, Sonic was not in a good place. Definitely not. And the movie, I feel, has been instrumental 
to repairing Sonic's reputation. I mean, he still has a ways to go, but I feel like after the success of the first live action movie, both the public and Sega started taking Sonic more seriously again. Especially with people like Margot Robbie and Kate Heron and Roy Lee attached, I can't completely discount the chance that maybe a similar sort of thing could happen with The Sims. Also, while not nearly to the same extreme, I was also quite anxious about how the Mario movie was going to turn out. I still remember waiting for the first trailer to come out. I was like, oh god, oh god, this is going to be so bad. Especially, like, also with the cast that was announced, it just sounded like it was going to be a big joke. But then that first trailer dropped and I was like, okay, this actually doesn't look bad. And then I really liked the movie once I saw it in theaters. The Sims could really use a miracle like that, and a movie would put The Sims more in the public eye, so if the movie did really well, perhaps that actually would put more pressure on EA and Maxis to, you know, fix the bugs, make the packs more consistently good again, and that sort of stuff. I still can't help but wonder what will this movie be about though, because Maybe it could be really interesting if they did some sort of adaptation of the lore of The Sims 2, like with the Goths and the Calientes and Don Lothario and all of them. But uh, my gut feeling is saying it's not really going to do that at all. It'll just feature probably like some original characters. I don't know if Margot Robbie is actually going to be acting in the movie or just be in a producer role, but... Yeah, they'll probably have cameos from Bella Goth and maybe a couple other well-known pre-made sims, but I feel like in order to do the whole like appeal to a new audience sort of thing, they're going to do new characters. But that's pretty much it. I wouldn't be surprised if we do finally get a new Behind the Sims stream that tells us at least a couple more details about what to expect with this movie. But for now, this is all we got. And that wraps up another Sims Info and Thoughts video, so feel free to let me know your thoughts on this upcoming Sims movie in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep up with my latest gaming content. I will talk to you all later, and have a great day. Thanks for watching!